Hi everyone, uh, this is Nigel from Rose Rage Turbos. I'm based in Australia, um, on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Um, I'm going to go through a few things here because I've been looking at all this stuff that's going around on the forums and Facebook pages about the Aquatrax Turbos, the MG8s, MG11s, um, the IHI ball bearing stuff, which is what I'm into, a lot of. Um, so I'm just going to go through a few things and what components are called for a start. So as you can see, this was a turbine shaft wheel, exhaust, exhaust side. Your preload bearing spring. This little sucker that most people lose all the time, that is a locking pin for the bearing carrier. That is your center ceiling plate, thrust collar, heat shield compressor wheels on your inlet absolutely chewed as you can see so this is the mg11 easy way to find that out is it's out of six plus six mg11 sorry that's an mg8 11 blade or 10 anyway you know um compressor housing and they come to me like this all the time bearing housing or center housing and another thing that's very telling is that when people say that oh, they can be repaired and whatnot, this is a ball bearing one, it's hard to see, but in here, very hard to see actually, I'll try and zoom in, there we go. In here is meant to be, there you go, an all ring groove in here, easily seen. And this is absolutely destroyed, which means this turbo cannot be repaired you're looking at something like this that can be repaired can you see that oil ring groove you can it's very hard to see i'll try and do it again give me a moment guys you can see a distinct oil ring groove down in here when you put your finger down in the center it'll stop, it'll grab, which means that the oil ring land is there. When it's not there, turbos throw away, it cannot repair them. This is no longer the case. We have just recently developed the center now ball bearing housing. Now that said, housing. I've got a lot of parts developed for these um, ball bearing repair kits. I don't like selling them individually because even turbo shops get it wrong. It's so frustrating. So I can only, I will only do it myself. You get to a certain point where this is what I do. I've got billet backing plates made. So these here. Another thing that gets destroyed and totally out of tolerance when they go bad and people leave them because they don't know what they're doing or they think it's all good, they can be repaired and whatnot. Within reason, yeah, they can. Billet comp wheel done. Turbine shafts wheel done. Heat shields we can get. Um, so within yeah within reason yes we can repair and we're trying to get the actual bearing housing this done when that's done previously mentioned we've got own. now got the bearing the housing moment, completed and own, we can do our own rotating assemblies main bodies and i'll just move all this out of the way nice noise and then you end up with a product like this far superior direct fit no machining Greater spool, more top end, it is just a far more efficient turbo. We've been doing that for years and years and years. So I hope this helps. It's not too over the top for people to, to get the information to sink into their head. But yes, we can repair these. Hi guys, Nigel again. I just will do a short video of another thing to look out for when these go bad. And again, you cannot look at any of this stuff until it's dismantled. And that is huge wear on the center seal plate and the thrust collar what happens is when it wears really badly is as you can see that there is nearly it's nearly flat not quite but when they are really bad these two components will force them what force their way down when the thrust comes on and just wear themselves out and will be burnt and when that happens, 
well, this is out of tolerance too, forces everything up into the bearing housing, as I said in here, and the oil ring and destroys that in the process. So when the bearings collapse, which they will, there's no doubt about that, which they will, because the OEM bearings are really quite weak and they're an aging turbo. Once the bearings collapse, it will just take out everything in the process. So I hope that's more good information. Now another topic I'd like to touch upon is the turbine shaft wheels of the OEMs um, for the MG8s, MG11s, Aquatrax turbos. And that is the oil ring groove. It has a very, very fine lip, which as you can see here has been eaten away with the salt and all the, the bad stuff over the years that's been sucked in with this one. And then it stops and goes down to absolutely no material left. It just stops. Another thing that's improved on ours is I made sure that the lip completely continues all the way down to the back of the exhaust wheel. So that gives it far more durability, makes it more robust and can cop more punishment over the years. So just because it's OEM doesn't mean it's any good. faults in the OEM design. The OEM turbos are just going to follow exactly the same process until somebody like the aftermarket guys and like myself improve things, make them better, make it easier to install have turbos that are bloody expensive to make it less expensive and far more efficient and I can just keep going on and on and on so I'm trying to get through to you guys that many things can be repaired yes it costs money but there is better products out there and I hope this helps and I've been doing this for many many years just not for the IHI Aquatrack stuff many turbos in general for many different cars and buses and marine stuff you name it so uh, over the years i've tried to improve things help guys with rare turbos that everybody says cannot be repaired but they can and i've been doing it for years all right i hope this all helps again guys cheers for listening